Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Etsy shop reviews. This is episode number 52. We're going to be looking at a print on demand Etsy shop that by the look of it, I only took a quick glance. It looks like it specializes in selling wall art, print on demand wall art, which I know you can make quite a bit of money on because, uh, well, let's just say I've been <laughs> talking to Curtis at my designs and I know he was looking into ways of kind of framing digital downloads on wall art that we knew was highly effective because he had shown me some really popular Etsy shops that were basically taking that approach. So I'm interested to see what's going on in this Etsy shop today. Let's get right to it. Real quick reminder, I have a free eight day print on demand mini course that'll help you get started on Etsy. You can find it linked in the description. Just give me your email address. I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook group that I hope you'll join if you're not already a member. All right, so we are here on Etsy. The shop we're gonna be reviewing today is Vibe Array Art, all right? And they're selling printables for modern home decor. I actually love the vibe of the shop. Like right away when you get to it, uh, check it out. Like that's a great picture for your banner. It's got the wall art, um, a couple different mock-ups. I'm assuming they're mock-ups, but it looks really good. Also, just the color scheme really flows nicely. And you've got your shop logo there that kind of fits the same vibe as what you showed in your banner. So really well done. Um, and that's really cool how you have your welcome and you've got those little like diamonds. I don't even know what character that is, but that's also really cool. It stands out. So well done there, already liking it. Only two sales, interesting. So probably a relatively new shop, um, but you do have your five-star review. That's very important. Uh, beyond that, like what else do you have going on here? Ah, so I guess it's not necessarily wall art. It looks like you're probably selling digital files, right? Just based on the price, three, uh, what is that? Euro or pound sterling? I should know this. Is that pounds? Okay, pounds, United Kingdom, got it. Uh, so it says digital download, digital files, uh, five JPG. So is it five JPEGs? Um, all right, but these are really cool graphics. I wonder how you're making them. Is that like... AI or maybe you're taking like a photo and then running it through some filter to make it painted or are you painting and then taking a picture of the painting? I don't know, but those are really high quality graphics. The color comes through really nicely on my monitor. I have like a pretty high end monitor, so it looks really nice on my monitor. If I dragged it from my main monitor to like my side monitors, uh, it would not look as good as it does right now. But I would say I, I really like that, like just desi the design in general. Um, what is your description looking like? Let's see. Learn more uh, digital item. So. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so maybe what I might consider doing because Etsy said that they're gonna start putting the top of your description in your Google search results, you may wanna just grab this first um, sentence and put it like in place of where you have the header that says description. Otherwise, you're gonna see that like description in the meta description in uh, Google search results. Also on the topic of uh, writing out descriptions, just wanted to plug Insight Factory's awesome description generator. Um, so let me pull up the shop really quickly. You could actually have it write custom descriptions for your products, all right? So this actually says lovely fruit theme poster will liven up your kitchen, dining room area, or bar. This print is part of our collection of fruit uh, fruit posters. Another thing you could do, by the way, is you could add all these to a section and then link to that section, which I believe would just go to, yeah, right here. So you could, this link right here, um, just to prove that it does actually work, you can go to your shop, sort by section include this link in your description if you're going to reference that this print is part of our collection of fruit posters painted in oil so then you could put view more and have the link and it would actually work even with what i just described about the meta description from google uh because as long as it's you know about 160 characters I and mean, you don't you don't need to go as far as actually counting but um etsy will use you know this first and that's what google is going to care most about and even jamming in some primary keywords like strawberry strawberry milkshake wall art. And I did want to share that, you know, you can pop on over to Insight Factory, which I'll link in the description. This is my favorite tool of theirs because it's so unique. Um, the description generator. So you have your title, your tags. I typically, I mean, you can go beyond this. Like you can actually put your tags here if you want to, but you can also just kind of copy paste the primaries. Click generate product description and it will make one for you that you can copy at the click of one button. Also, if you don't like it, you can typically just click again and it'll just make you another one. Um, this one's, you know, twice as long. So it says this strawberry milkshake wall art is a must have for any fan of strawberry milk feature an adorable cartoon strawberry in a glass. This artwork is perfect to spruce up any room in your home. See, it's pretty good, right? And it's not like some generic copy paste because if Google is seeing the same 
like generic description over and over again, it's probably going to not assign it too much weight. You know, their algorithm is intelligent enough to figure that out if it's just like a generic copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. However, if you have unique ones, which a nice way of doing that in a streamlined fashion that you don't have to sit there and type it out yourself. Insight Factory is also um, a great option. And I, I love to just reference them while I'm doing these reviews because they do have a lot of tools that are useful. Also, in general, wall art. I'm not saying that you need any assistance with your niche research, but you can come over on, come on over to Insight Factory, type in wall art, just give it a scroll and see what kind of things are selling, all right? Like you see, they tag it in red, in high demand right now, in high demand right now. Now, maybe the Christmas printable wall art ghost I don't know to me that looks like a real product I get too confused it's too hard to tell because some of these mock-ups are so good but with Christmas right around uh, the corner like check this out check that product out Christmas wall art template printable I don't even know what that one product was but it's basically saying as a function of the demand like Christmas themed wall art is coming beyond that Thanksgiving themed wall art uh, Halloween quotes wall art. So there's just so many options. If you do want to specialize in the wall art category, I don't know how you're generating your designs, but if you did have flexibility, you could tailor it to what is currently, you know, in high demand and insight factory puts right, puts that right in front of you. And then also I love being able to just click one button to copy tags to make that more efficient and streamlined. Now back to your listings specifically, I do think that like your actual product itself which is the digital file in this case is awesome. Like however you did these really well done. I'm not just saying that, like I could just, if it wasn't good, I would just say, eh, I'm not a fan, but I actually think these are really good. Um, your mockups look great too. Like for digital files, I think this is great. Um, I would just say also shout out to my designs. One thing, like if you have five images that are all kind of the same of like, you know, Hey, it's going to go on a wall and you can frame it and all that. I'm not saying that's bad, but I do like how in my designs you can make a listing image that highlights just the graphic or you can do the graphic and then you can add some text and they'll do these in bulk for you. And I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to say that this is the right way to do it or anything like that, but I use them for my print on demand products. If I like the graphics, you know what I'm saying? Like if I really like the graphics, then I want the customer to be able to see the graphic itself and just see how good the graphic really is. So I'll use the, like my designs mockup generator for the digital file, even though I'm selling it as a print on demand t-shirt or hoodie or tank top, whatever, and just show the graphic off and then typically add some text underneath with like the primary keywords. And then I might even add text underneath that. That's just like t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Product type, whatever. So just a thought there. Um, but your shop looks, I mean, this is one of the best looking just in terms of like the, the vibrant images that you've got and how well they're mocked up here. Um, really awesome. So you have abstract shapes. I'd love to know if you're successful at marketing these abstract shapes because every time I'm doing the Redbubble shop reviews, I always wonder, you know, there's always at least one person that's kind of testing. I, I'm not mad about testing. I'm not, you know, everybody should test. I just don't know how to market these. You know what I'm saying? It's not that they aren't probably amazing like art files that somebody would find useful and probably really like. I just don't know how to market them. Like what keywords do you associate with these designs? You know what I mean? Because they are kind of... Well, call it what they, call it what it is it's abstract right um but i mean because it's also kind of low-hanging fruit i think i'm not trying to be an expert in abstract art but i think it's low-hanging fruit i know i've seen plenty of people doing it on redbubble so i imagine there's also a lot of people doing it on etsy uh so it's probably hard to just get it in front of the right people even these like this is great artwork but how do you market like abstract faces i i don't know i if i i know you want the answers i don't have the answers to everything these are really cool though i'll tell you that like if you get okay coffee art see this is the thing you only have two sales if i check back in late december i'll bet you you have like 20 sales minimum and i know that's not even a big jump but i'm just saying two to 20 that's 10x i'll bet you you have at least 20 sales and i'll bet you a lot of them are these coffee arts you know what i'm saying coffee is one of those things that like you can find the right keywords you know if you don't have the uh, keyword ideas by the way head on over to Insight Factory. That's a great place to start, you know, and then you get your tags, copy tags. So hone in on, you know, and look at the best sellers for what keywords, phrases to put in the title. You can use the description generator. You can copy the tags, etc. That really helps Etsy's algorithm put your product in front of the right people. And, um, you know, with something as generic as coffee or as generic as like abstract art, that's probably where you're having an uphill battle. I'm not trying to deter you or say, you know, I, I just think like, you know, it's going to be tough to achieve instant success. But I really think that once you get the ball rolling and you start seeing something work, 
double down, triple down on that. You know what I'm saying? Because you might be onto something. Whereas the more like high level generic it is, like I know it's not the way you're framing your products because it's beautiful and your graphics are really good. So it's not that, you know what I mean? It's it's definitely just like help the Etsy algorithm get your products in front of the right people. Also keep in mind that like they want you to make, you know, 100 plus sales before the algorithm really starts to trust your shop. When you start making, well, I guess you're selling digital products, so it might not be the same. It all depends on how their engineers actually wrote this stuff in. But if you are selling like physical products and you have to upload tracking, get it on time, get positive reviews, they monitor that. If it's digital, it's like, okay, customer instantly gets the payload. They just need to hopefully drop you a five-star review and then you're good to go. So maybe even, you know, with like my designs, for instance, like it doesn't just give them the graphic, it gives them a PDF that takes them to where they can download a zip file of all the graphics and just an idea. I don't know. I haven't looked recently at how they're doing it, but like maybe they could put something in there that says, do you love your, (laughs) do you love your design? Do you love your file? You know, tell Etsy (laughs) and leave a positive review, you know, something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, I think you're on the right track. I mean, for someone with only two sales, it's kind of crazy. You only have two sales. Uh, okay. These are what sold abstract poster, abstract face could have been friends and family since you only made two sales and it looks like you got two five-star reviews. Maybe not though. I don't know. I I think your shop looks really good though. And and just a general from a outside looking in just at your shop, I think it looks really nice and your products looks good, look good. So I'm sure in like a year you'll, you'll have the ball rolling two years from now. You'll be even better. I like to think long term because let's be real, it's it's hard to achieve overnight success with um, low barrier of entry like print on demand, uh, digital files, etc. But I think you should stick to it because you definitely have uh, some design chops at a minimum. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, maybe run a sale. Why not run a sale? You know what I'm saying? Like mark your stuff up to six dollars, run a fifty percent off sale. Why not? Uh, guys, thank you for watching this video. I do have a full print on demand course that includes my full Etsy course and my Redbubble course, my Amazon course, my design course, research course, and at the end, the automation course. It's all bundled into one called my Ryan's Method Dropship Print On Demand course. I'll link that in the description in case you want to check it out. It's got everything that I do to run my business and automate it. Uh, So check that out, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new Top 5 Niches of the Week video.